I'm looking at her account and I see there's no money in her account. And I'm like, where did the money go? That is unacceptable. So I'm like, daughter, who knows there are other options. Hey. Now many of you know that I have two children at home, two small children. Uh, my daughter is about to be 12 and my son is 10. And I try my best. I do my best to try to teach them frugal principles, uh, you know, so that they know how to spend money and do what they need to do financially. Last month, we threw a surprise party for my mother. And so my daughter needed a white hair accessory. So the day before the party, we go to the CVS, my husband goes in and my daughter and I are sitting in the, sitting in the car and she says, oh mom, can I go in to get, to see if they have a headband? So I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. She's usually really good with spending her money. She'll compare prices. She'll try to check my son if he's spending his money on something he doesn't need. Sometimes she gets stuff she don't need too, but she's usually pretty good. So I'm like, you know, Go ahead, go in the store. I knew she had about $14 in her account, you know, just left over from allowance. And so I'm like, no problem. You go in there, you see if you can find a headband. She comes out about five minutes later and she's got a pair of earrings and white nail polish. Where's the headband? So I'm like, okay, well, you didn't get a headband. Oh, they don't have headbands in there. She doesn't talk like that, but you know. So I'm like, okay, well, you got earrings and you got nail polish, fine, whatever. Next day is the party. She painted her fingernails. She painted her toenails with the white polish. She ended up not even wearing the earrings. So a couple of days after the party, I'm looking at her account and I see there's no money in her account. And I'm like, she didn't spend it on anything. She didn't go to a store or anything. Where did the money go? I look down at the transactions and I see that she spent $13 and some change at the CVS. And I'm like, well, she only got the earrings and the nail polish, those earrings must have cost more than I realized. So, you know, I'm like, well, she didn't wear the earrings so we can take them back. I go to my daughter. I'm asking her for the receipt. She hands me the receipt. I look. The first thing on the receipt, the earrings for 99 cents. That means that the nail polish was $12 for nail polish. That is unacceptable. So I'm like, daughter, why would you spend this much on nail polish? And she's like, well, I didn't know the price. Well, you didn't know the price. She does again, she doesn't talk like that, but you know. But just I'm like, okay, you, you can't spend $12 on nail polish. Lord knows there are other options. The Dollar Tree has white nail polish for a dollar twenty-five. So I'm like, okay, we need to revisit the rules because you're gonna be going into the stores more and more often by yourself let's revisit the rules that you need to remember when you are going shopping okay so first thing is before you even go into the store if you already know what you're going in there for get a price in your mind before you head into the store already fix it in your mind what is the maximum amount that i am willing to spend on this thing that i am looking for and you're going to base that amount on a couple of different factors. It could be the urgency of the need for the item. It could be what you know that the item is, like what it usually sells for in any store. Whatever the factors are, you wanna set that price in your mind before you go into the store. Now, her issue when she got into the store was that she didn't see what the price was. No problem, you're gonna find out what the price is before you try to purchase it. So if there's no kiosk, you know, sometimes Target has the, the little kiosks at the end of an aisle where you can check your price. Walmart has them when they're working, um, or you can find a worker on the floor who can tell you what the price is. If they can't tell you, then you're going to take that item and you're gonna go to the register. But when you get there, don't hand them the item. Mm -mm. No, because they're going to think that you want to buy it. But you don't want to buy it yet because you don't know the price yet. So once you get to the register, you very clearly articulate to the cashier that you want to have the item price checked. So you say, can you check the price of this item for me, please? And then they'll check the item. You already know you are not committed to purchasing this piece. 
Once they tell you what the price is, if the price of that item is more than a dollar over the maximum price you already had set in your mind, that's when you need to walk away. Because if you've already set the maximum amount and then you're a dollar over, you're already going too far and potentially outside of your budget. And guess what? Do not feel embarrassed about walking away from something because of the price. I know a lot of times we don't want people to think we're cheap or anything like that, or maybe that we don't have any money. But guess what? Those people don't earn your money for you and they don't manage your money for you. You are responsible for your financial situation. So if it's too much, you walk away. You just, you know, kindly say, okay, I'm not going to buy that today. Thank you. And then you can take the item back from the cashier and put it back on the shelf yourself or they can put it away for you whatever it is don't be afraid to walk away when it's outside of your budget so i had to reiterate these rules for my child so that she wouldn't make that mistake again because huh, 12 dollars for nail polish that's it it, 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 it it just wasn't okay it wasn't okay and it, it hurts it hurts my heart when i think about it so i want to make sure she doesn't she doesn't do that again just keep the rules in mind i'm like number one already know what you want to spend on an item before you head into the store. Know the price before you purchase it. If it's more than a dollar over the price you already set, you have to walk away. So, you know, she she's still growing and she's still learning. We, we're gonna keep working on it. And, uh, and hopefully those rules will be helpful for you too. So I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.